guys welcome back to my channel um this is a really random video for me i didn't expect to do it it wasn't planned um but i've been sitting here thinking about it for a while and i just wanted to come on and talk about it because i know i made this channel to be real and deal with women issues and mom issues and basically like a diary diary for me to vent so that's what i'm gonna do Today I went to Nordstrom to purchase a swimsuit. It's the first time I've even thought about swimming or going in a pool since before I even had Olivia. The whole time I was pregnant I didn't go swimming and now it's summer and my daughter's getting older and she wants to swim so I figured why not get a swimsuit. <sighs> you guys. I looked in that mirror in that dressing room and I don't even recognize who I am. I mean, I know when you're a mom and you're creating this beautiful life inside of you, but I was always I'm not trying to I'm not trying to boost myself or anything in any way. I was just always skinny and healthy and looked like a like a teenager I didn't have this woman body I didn't have this mom body I didn't carry life and I wore whatever I wanted without thinking about it and I put on this swimsuit and I'm really pear shaped I know a lot of you say that I'm looking really good blah 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 thank you so much I appreciate it. I don't mean to say blah 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 but that's how it feels in my head because um, I see myself all the time and I'm real pear shaped so my body's thin on top and then I just boom and it runs in my family that does it's genetic it happened that way naturally <laughs> I mean I gave birth and I really got I got really bottom heavy down there my my weight was all on my thighs and my hips and my butt and I got a lot of stretch marks even on the insides of my knees and so I avoided swimsuits, I avoided shorts, I avoided dresses, and I just recently got up the confidence to put on a dress that goes above my knees for my daughter's dedication. Yeah, she's 10 months, it took me that long. And then yesterday I wore shorts, it took me that long. And now today I bought a swimsuit. I put it on and I had never felt more unattractive in my entire life and I feel like that's not fair to myself and I feel like society has placed that on me you see all of these famous people who snap back real quick and they look all like they didn't even have a baby they just look unnatural like there's no stretch marks and I know some of these pictures are probably polished up but still, it's like they just snapped back to this figure and nothing ever happened. Just They just had a baby. It's a miracle, you know? And I was disgusted. Uh, the size, I mean, this is the first one piece that I've ever owned in my entire life. And you guys, it's a size 14. 14 extra large yeah and it's not because of my top it's because of my bottom and I feel like society also placed a stigma with the size and that's not fair I put on the large and it still was snug in my tummy area and I didn't like the way it looked, so I went up a size. I mean, I don't necessarily need it, but I feel like to look comfortable and to be comfortable, I needed a size up. And then I got these shorts, which are super long to cover my stretch marks. And they're size 31. When I looked at these, you guys, I was like, that's not going to fit me. That's going to be too big. No, all of these things fit. And to go with that swimsuit, I got the swim shorts. Because I can no longer wear just the regular swimsuit by itself. I have to cover up all these other stretch marks that are on my thighs. 
I just feel like this whole thing, this whole journey of motherhood has changed me completely. I just... It's really hard when you're expected to look a certain way and you don't. And you used to look a certain way and now you don't. I I remember when I first had Olivia, I was six weeks postpartum and I was going in for a checkup with my gynecologist and I was walking out of the doctor's office and there was this older man and only older lady probably late 50s early 60s and they stopped me and Olivia and they're like oh my gosh your daughter's so pretty and the wife was so so sweet so lovable and wanted to play with Olivia and of course I had anxiety about it I was like oh god these strangers are touching my baby get away don't breathe her air <laughs> but um I got I just let her be and the husband, he was like, I'll give you $2 for that baby. And I was like, she's worth more than $2. And we were just kidding and a million. And I was like, yeah, no, she's not for sale. Like he was just kidding guys. It wasn't a trafficking thing. <laughs> and um, he looked at me and he was like, there's no way that baby's yours. That baby's too good looking for you. I got in my car and I sobbed and I sobbed and I sobbed and I sobbed some more. I was already struggling so much with the way my body looked and how much I had changed that that has stuck in my head ever since those six weeks postpartum. And like I said, Olivia is now 10 months. So when I look at myself, I don't see who I really am and I don't see what you guys see and it's a shame that I feel like I have to cover myself up and the life that I created with this body and I don't know how to overcome it I don't know how to get out of it I know that you guys are probably gonna say you look great just be confident but it goes way deeper than that and it even bothers me when people are like your baby's so beautiful he she looks just like she looks just like Kyle she looks just like your husband it's like well, I'm like you just said my baby's so beautiful and she looks nothing like me and it always goes back to that one guy's comment and that just goes to show like your words mean everything and you need to be aware of what you say to people especially to moms because we go through so much mentally and physically and emotionally obviously that every little thing that you say can get to us sorry hi gracie go lay down it's okay. I'm okay. Go lay down. Go lay down, baby. <laughs> My dog's all concerned. But anyways, it just, this whole thing has just been brewing in my head all day. I made the comment, which I promised myself I would never do, um, in front of my daughter, even though she doesn't know. I promised myself I wouldn't. I was looking at the short sizes and I was like, oh, I need the fat size. And I hate myself for saying that. I I don't want to feel that way about myself. And I don't want to say those things in front of my daughter. Oh, shoot, sorry. <clears throat> so I just feel like if we gave each other more compliments and said nicer things to one another, all of this stuff wouldn't be such a big deal. The body and the way we look wouldn't be such a big deal. It'd be more about who we are on the inside versus the outside. Because I don't want to be that mom that talks about myself and my weight in front of my daughter. I want to place beauty with who you are inside and the way you act and acts of kindness. 
and that's the role model role model I want to be for her <clears throat> but anyways sorry I didn't mean to get all sappy and emotional on you guys I just have a lot of built up emotions obviously and I wanted to get them out and to talk to you guys and maybe some of you can relate with this if you can talk to me in the comments I respond I like hearing from you guys um, I just feel like this always makes me feel better because I feel like I'm talking to my friends so um, thanks for listening I'm sorry I got all emotional at the end well, I'm going to work on the way I view myself, and I hope that all of you do as well. And maybe we can do it together and work on this together. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.